In 2026, an uncomfortable truth is beginning to spread among American consumers. The old mantra that buying a used gasoline car is the safest option for your wallet is crumbling and fast. For decades, this type of choice made sense. It was cheaper to buy, depreciated slowly, and had predictable maintenance. But suddenly, something changed. And the curious thing is that it wasn't because combustion engine cars got worse. They continue to work. They continue to transport people to and from work. The difference is that the game has silently changed. And at the center of this shift, two names resonate strongly. Tesla's Model Y and the long-awaited Model 2. The signs started appearing around 2024, but now in 2026, it's clear. The risk of buying a used gasoline car has increased. It's not about engine failure or increased fuel consumption. What's at stake is something else. It's the perception of value. It's the buyer's hesitation. The market has changed its behavior. Before, it was almost automatic. Had $20,000 in your pocket. You'd go and get a sedan that was six or seven years old. Now, that same buyer starts to think, is it still worth it? And that simple, is it, is enough to start eroding the value of used combustion engine cars. The old logic relied on solid data. For decades, vehicles like the Toyota Camry and Honda Accord retained about 50% of their original value after seven years. Maintenance was a stable line in the budget, nothing unpredictable. It was a world where the owner knew how much they would spend per year on oil, brake pads, and fuel. Predictability was the lifeblood of the business. But that lifeblood is being invaded by something new, something that traditional numbers didn't foresee, electric disruption. While the threat was once diffuse, it now has a clear target. States with the highest adoption rates of electric vehicles, such as California, Florida, and Texas, are showing the future ahead of the rest. In these regions, the combination of greater charging coverage, local incentives, and changes in consumer profiles has accelerated the transformation. What was once the exception, someone considering an electric car instead of a gasoline-powered one, is now part of the standard equation. And the craziest thing is, sometimes the Model Y isn't even in someone's budget, but the mere comparison with it changes everything. This is where things start to get interesting. Today's buyer is no longer focused on comparing one used car to another. They're starting to look at what might be available at the same price. And that's where the safety of combustion engine cars goes down the drain. Because while the Model Y redefines expectations, the Model 2, even before it's on the streets, is already messing with buyers' heads. The mere rumor of a Tesla electric car for $25,000 is enough to make many people hesitant to close a deal on a traditional used car. And this hesitation has a real effect. It's the kind of thing that doesn't show up on the sales chart immediately, but it changes the market dynamics at the base. A car that used to sell quickly starts to stagnate. Sellers have to lower the price sooner than they anticipated. And not because the car is bad, but because the buyer is having second thoughts. And when this effect spreads, the entire market feels it. Many people still cling to the idea that gasoline is synonymous with reliability. But in 2026, that reliability is shifting. Not because electric cars are perfect, but because they are becoming increasingly comparable in everything that only combustion engine cars previously offered. Predictability, durability, resale value. And if the market is changing, ignoring that change is no longer security. It's stubbornness. The Model Y didn't need much time to break paradigms. In just three years, it went from being a futuristic car to becoming a favorite among American families, including those who would never have considered an electric car before. The change wasn't just aesthetic or performance related. What really turned the tide was the behavior of the resale market. In 2026, a three-year-old Model Y still retains 60% to 65% of its original value. And in the automotive world, that's practically a declaration of war against traditional gasoline sedans. 
This value retention is one of the biggest indicators of market confidence. In states like California and Texas, the Model Y already rivals icons like the RAV4 and CRV in terms of resale value. And we're talking about regions where gasoline SUVs have always reigned supreme. But now, Tesla has ceased to be a niche car and has become a normal alternative. And that changes everything because the average consumer doesn't buy just on emotion. They look at the numbers, think about resale value, compare it with their neighbors. And in this game, the Model Y is performing much better than many people expected. It's curious how time changes mindsets. In 2021, suggesting that a used Tesla could rival an Accord or Camry in resale value would have been considered delusional. Today, it's almost universally accepted. What was once seen as a risk, buying an EV, is now viewed as a smart move, even more so when considering fuel savings and simpler maintenance. And when an electric vehicle starts behaving like a reliable and valuable car, the foundations of the traditional market begin to tremble. The feeling is that the Model Y has become the market's lie detector. It has proven that the arguments of those who insisted that electric cars didn't hold value were outdated. And this is causing many buyers to start questioning, if the Model Y already does this now, what else can Tesla deliver in future models? This question is powerful because it's not limited to those buying new cars. It also affects the used car market, especially combustion engine vehicles older than five years. Another important factor is scalability. The Model Y isn't a car made for the elite. It was designed for volume to become the car of the American family. And when something becomes the street standard, it starts influencing all other decisions around it. The buyer who was thinking of getting a 2017 Corolla now looks to the side and sees a neighbor with a 2023 Model Y. The comparison ceases to be abstract. It becomes something every day. And this further reinforces the idea that the market has changed and there's no going back. Tesla, without much fanfare, managed to make the Model Y the benchmark for many people. It's no longer about being a fan of the brand, but about financial sense. The vehicle has become a benchmark for value stability, cost effectiveness, and modernity. And the curious thing is that it did this without relying on incentives or aggressive marketing. It was market logic itself that pushed the Model Y to this prominent position. Of course, there are regional nuances. Florida, for example, still shows slightly lower values than California, but even so, within a surprisingly solid range. In 2026, you see buyers commenting that they prefer to pay a little more for a used Y than to risk a high mileage combustion engine car. The perception of risk has changed. And once that perception changes, the old patterns of choice begin to disappear. Now imagine what happens when this new standard starts invading the same price range where used gasoline cars reign supreme. If the Model Y is already shaking up the mid-range and upper segments, the real earthquake begins with the expectation of the Model 2. In 2026, this car hasn't even been officially launched yet, but it has already disrupted the entire logic of consumption. Expected to cost around $25,000, it enters exactly where most Americans make their purchases, between $16,000 and $24,000. That is, in the heart of the used car market. And here, we're not talking about a distant promise. The simple fact that Tesla has confirmed plans for a more affordable model is enough to change consumer behavior. In states like California, Florida, and Texas, where the charging infrastructure is already more mature, people are no longer comparing one used gasoline-powered car to another used car. They are comparing it to what may be available new and electric within months. It's as if the Model 2 is already in dealerships, even if it doesn't physically exist yet. The expectation itself already affects the resale market. Used cars seven to nine years old, with over 90,000 miles on the odometer, are becoming harder to sell. Buyers look at the prices and think, if I can wait just a little longer for a brand new Tesla, why risk something that could give me headaches in two years? 
This type of doubt, even subtle, destroys trust. And trust is what sustains the market price of any durable good. By 2026, dealers are starting to notice this shift. They're not losing business because their cars are bad, but because buyers' eyes are set on something else. It's like trying to sell a digital camera right when a new iPhone is being launched. You might find interested buyers, but the question, is it worth it, hangs in the air. And the more that question echoes, the harder it becomes to maintain the value of the used car. The Model 2 doesn't need a 600 kilo range, nor does it need to be ultra-technological. It just needs to exist, or appear about to exist, to change the game. The very promise of a reliable new Tesla for $25,000 is enough to redefine what people consider a good deal. And this puts virtually all combustion engine cars in the $20,000 range to the test, especially those with pending maintenance or a tired appearance. This phenomenon of anticipation has a name, replacement expectation. It's when consumers postpone a purchase because they know something better is coming. And the effect is brutal. Used car ads stay longer in classifieds, sellers start cutting prices faster, and buyers demand more guarantees, or simply give up. And all this without the Model 2 even having been delivered. The irony is that not everyone who considers the Model 2 will actually buy it. Many will end up opting for used cars out of necessity or impatience. But the damage is already done. Because the simple fact that there is an alternative. This completely changes the competitive landscape. The comparison is no longer between the 2017 Accord and the 2018 Camry. It's between them and a brand new Tesla. This comparison between the old and the new doesn't stop there. When you look more closely at operating costs, the difference becomes glaring. In 2026, gasoline-powered cars aren't just aging. They're becoming more expensive to maintain. The cost per mile running on gasoline varies between 8 and 15 cents, depending on the state. In California, for example, this number is close to 15 cents, while in Florida and Texas, the average is slightly lower, between 8 and 11 cents. It seems like a small amount, but at the end of the month, and especially the year, it adds up to a significant difference. And we haven't even gotten into maintenance yet. Starting at 90,000 miles, Many of these cars begin to show signs of wear. Suspension replacement, cooling system, electronic sensors, all of that starts adding to the bill. On average, owners spend between $1,400 and $1,800 a year just to keep the car running as expected. And that, of course, doesn't include any emergencies. For those on a tight budget, this predictability becomes a burden. On the other side of the coin, Electric vehicles, especially Teslas, offer quiet relief. By 2026, the cost per mile for electric power will range between four and nine cents. That means practical savings of hundreds, even thousands of dollars per year. And more important than the absolute value is consistency. With fewer moving parts and less frequent servicing, EVs tend to deliver a smoother, less unpredictable experience exactly the kind of thing that those buying used gasoline cars desperately seek. This contrast between predictability and risk is becoming crucial when making a choice. The buyer doesn't just want to know how much it costs to refuel. They want to know if they can sleep soundly, knowing that the car won't eat up their Christmas bonus in a single visit to the mechanic. And that's where electric cars shine. Even if the purchase price is still a bit higher in some cases, the return comes in the total cost of ownership, something the average consumer is beginning to understand more clearly. And there's another point that often gets overlooked, the psychological impact of maintenance. A used combustion engine car, especially one with high mileage, often carries a ghost called what if? What if the water pump breaks? What if the transmission starts jerking? What if the catalytic converter gets clogged? These what ifs become small daily anxieties. In the case of electric cars, these fears are drastically reduced. The absence of a traditional engine, oil, timing belt, and other components reduces not only the cost, but also the stress. 
Of course, not every EV is problem-free, but on average, the experience tends to be less problematic, especially in the first 150,000 kilometers. And since many modern electric vehicles come with remote updates and automatic diagnostics, the very concept of maintenance is beginning to change. Instead of chasing after a mechanic, the owner receives alerts and suggestions from the car itself, a reality that seems futuristic but is already happening in thousands of Teslas across the country. The curious thing is that this operational advantage of electric vehicles doesn't appear as prominently in advertisements, but it reveals itself in everyday use. And that's exactly where the buyer feels the difference. When comparing the cost of driving a 2017 Corolla against a possible new Model 2, the advantage shifts. The old good deal is now questionable and the new suspect ironically becomes the safer option. But the final blow to used gasoline cars doesn't come from maintenance or fuel consumption. It comes from hesitation. In 2026, the buyer's simple doubt about, is it really worth buying this used car now, is enough to alter the depreciation dynamic. Before, used car prices fell relatively smoothly and predictably. Today, just a few extra days on the ad or a stalled negotiation is enough for the value to start slipping faster than expected. This happens because the market doesn't respond to averages. It responds to sentiment. And when that sentiment is uncertainty, the reaction is almost immediate. Lists of used gasoline cars start to get longer. Sellers realize they're being ignored, even when offering vehicles in good condition. And the natural response is to cut prices. The buyer's doubt becomes a kind of virus, silent, invisible, but highly contagious. And the impact of this spreads like a domino effect. The first to feel this effect are precisely the models priced between $16,000 and $24,000, the same range where the Model 2 is expected to debut. It's as if a shadow hangs over every used car ad in this category. The buyer sees it, likes it, but hesitates. And this hesitation, even if it doesn't lead to the immediate purchase of a Tesla, already devalues the combustion engine car. Because the market has begun to price not only the car itself, but the uncertainty about its relevance. This phenomenon is even more brutal because the Model 2 doesn't even need to physically exist to cause this damage. What matters isn't the product, it's the expectation. The salesperson of a 2018 Corolla isn't just competing with other Corollas. They're competing with an idea, with a promise, with an invisible Tesla that's already occupying space in the buyer's imagination. And competing with an expectation is always more difficult than competing with a real product. Furthermore, this change in depreciation dynamics also affects resale time. Previously, it was possible to count on a window of two to three years of relative stability. Now, this window is shortening. A car that is currently worth 19,000 could drop to 16,000 in less than a year, depending on how the market reacts to new releases. And if the owner doesn't sell quickly, they risk incurring a much greater loss than anticipated. And it doesn't stop there. As the public becomes more informed, following analysis channels, comparing real costs, understanding the evolution of electric vehicles, Risk tolerance decreases. The consumer of 2026 is more skeptical. They no longer accept paying a high price for something they know could become obsolete in a few months. This new buyer profile is more strategic, more calculating, more digital. And in this new game, the used combustion engine car has fewer cards up its sleeve. It's also worth noting that even if a buyer doesn't opt for an electric car now, 